Good morning. Welcome back to day two of Forest Asia. It was a fantastic day yesterday. We had 2,000 people here. We had, as we just heard, 3,000 more online. We had 4,000 tweets and 2 million people um, possibly reached by that. And not only did we have a very inspiring youth session, we also had 12 countries represented at ministerial level, and we had the President of the Republic of Indonesia um, uh, with us. That was a very exciting day, and I'm looking forward to continue that today. What I want to do now is, is to briefly give you some quotes from yesterday. I will then make an announcement and then look forward to today's uh, deliberations. Some things we heard yesterday was that President Yuriono talked about governments in Southeast Asia continuing to develop regional strategies on adaptive capacities and low carbon economies. He also urged businesses across the ASEAN region to commit to sustainable land use and investment practices. We listened to the Minister of Environment and Water Resources from Singapore, Vivian Balakrishnan, who talked about unsustainable expansion and poor governance as, as key problems that we have to deal with. I would like to recall Pavan Sudkev, who moderated our first plenary panel. Um, he, talked, he asked the question, how do we move from perverse incentives such as fossil fuel subsidies to much needed positive incentives like finance for smallholders and communities. We also heard, um, I also have a quote from Mark Burroughs, who we, you will hear more about to, from today. And he said, there's $23 trillion out there looking for a home. Doesn't sound too difficult to, to find. Um, but, and, the, and, and these funds can redefine how we approach sustainable development. Now, take, compare that with the aspirations of a green, green climate fund um, of $0.1 trillion per year. So it's interesting to, to, to think about the potentials here. So those were some quotes from yesterday. Before I turn to day two, I want to make an announcement. It's actually a little launch uh, that I would do here from the podium, and that is, has to do with one of the objectives of this conference, which is commitments to research. Now, research is done to answer questions. Um, but we need to be careful about what those questions are. Otherwise, we may end up with lots of answers to questions that are not relevant, or maybe even questions we don't really know. Um, and of course, conferences like this, negotiation processes, and other fora are very important to define those questions. But we think that this is not enough. We also need to reach out more broadly to the public, use modern technologies, and offer the opportunity to formulate those research questions on forestry, on landscapes, on sustainable land use that we are discussing. So to do that, we are now building on our initiative that we call evidence-based forestry. And within that initiative, we're launching a call for the 20 most important questions in forestry, 20 questions that need research. And I don't have any PowerPoint, fortunately, but I will show you how to find this 20 questions website. And to do that, we actually made up an acronym, a new acronym that you have never seen before. It looks like this. Is that coming on the screen? It is T20Q, the 20 most important questions in forestry. Google that, follow the instructions, and we look forward to yours and many, many others' suggestions to the most important questions in forestry. That was my announcement. And I, I, can, I can hand this out later if you didn't, uh, uh, if, you, if you need to, if you couldn't memorize it. Now, day two. Today, we're going to dig a little bit deeper in some of the key questions. We will look at climate change. What are the impacts? What are the possibilities to deal with climate change? We will have uh, Dr. Pachauri from the IPCC deliver a keynote. 
And second, we will look at how do we mobilize finance for smarter land uses, and we will have Mark Burroughs tell us more about that. Uh, we will also have five themes that will, as was announced by, by, my, uh, by the speaker before me, five themes of the conference that each will have a high-level panel. These themes are governance, sustainable investments, climate change, landscapes for food and biodiversity, and communities and equitable development. Five themes. These will tie together the topics that we have dealt with so far and lead us towards a closing plenary at the end of today. That's what's going to happen today. It's great to see you all here again. And I will now leave to uh, our MC to announce the prominent speakers in this session. Um, I'll leave that to you, actually. But I know that we have some very prominent speakers coming up just now. Thank you very much. Thank you.